Good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. It is Julie here with your Tip Ranks pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back, and thank you all so much for being here. I hope you had a fantastic weekend and are headed into a short week this week with Thanksgiving coming up on Thursday. Just a reminder that markets will be closed Thursday and close early on Friday as well. Now, of course, this morning, we're gonna take a look at exciting stock market news, notable earnings reports, and the morning's biggest gainers and losers. Just before we get into all of that, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Okay, let's get right into this morning's exciting stock market news. We are starting the week off with U.S. stock futures in the green. Currently, Dow futures are up 0.3%, S&P 500 futures are up 0.32%, while NASDAQ futures are up 0.98%. Chinese electric vehicle maker Xpeng has unveiled its new electric SUV, the G9. This is the company's fourth production model. The car, which is designed for both domestic and international markets, is planned to be launched in China in the third quarter of 2022. G9 is Xpeng's first model, which will be equipped with Xpilot 4.0, the company's advanced driver assistance system. X-Pilot feature aids the car with semi-autonomous features, including lane switching, and the G9 will feature light detection and ranging LiDAR technology. The X-Peng stock is currently rated a strong buy with an average upside of 34%. Ford Motors has canceled their plans to co-develop an electric vehicle with EV company Rivian Automotive. This is not the first time that Ford has abandoned its joint venture with Rivian. Earlier, Ford had dropped its plan to build a new Lincoln from Rivian's EV chassis and hardware. Despite discontinuing the collaboration, Ford continues to target global production capacity of 600,000 by late 2023. To achieve the same, the company has ramped up its own EV development and manufacturing capabilities. The Ford stock is currently rated a moderate buy with an average downside of over 6%. Verizon is closing in on regulatory approval for the proposed $6 billion acquisition of TrackPhone Wireless. Reuters reported that the Federal Communications Commission chairperson is circulating an order urging commissioners to approve the deal. The California Public Utilities Commission gave the deal the green light after Verizon agreed to additional consumer protection conditions and the Justice Department approved the deal in late 2020. The Verizon stock is currently rated a moderate buy with an average upside of nearly 17%. And Piper Sandler has announced that its board has approved a new common stock repurchase program of up to $150 million. The plan comes with an expiration date of December 31st, 2023. The new program will come into effect January 1st after the company's previous $150 million repurchase authorization expires on December 31st. Their stock is currently rated a strong buy, but with a downside of over 5% as all price targets have already been surpassed. Now let's take a look at some notable earnings reports. In the pre-market this morning, we'll be hearing from companies like Serens Incorporated and Avea Holdings. And in the after hours today, we'll hear from some bigger names like Zoom Video and Urban Outfitters. In the pre-market this morning, we heard from Chinese electric scooter maker Neo Technologies. They did miss analyst expectations on their earnings that came in at 18 cents per share when it was estimated to come in at 22 cents per share. They did see third quarter revenues increase over 37% year over year. The company said it expects fourth quarter revenue of 131.6 to 142.5 million. The current consensus was 167.4 million. There are no current ratings on the NEO stock, but we will see if any come in following this latest earnings report. At the end of last week, we heard from Foot Locker, who came in with better than expected results for their third quarter. Both revenue and earnings came in above analyst estimates, but the company did drop nearly 12% on the close of Friday. Their total sales in the quarter increased almost 4% to $2.19 billion, and their adjusted diluted earnings per share came in at $1.93, an improvement for the $1.21 delivered in the same quarter last year. The Foot Locker stock is currently rated a hold with an average upside of 26%. Now let's take a look at which stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. 
Our biggest gainers this morning are led by Astra Space after their rocket reached orbit for the first time ever on Saturday. Under the ticker ASTR, they're currently up over 36% followed by Vonage under the ticker VG, whose stock is up over 25% after agreeing to be acquired by Ericsson in a deal worth $6.2 billion, and Zahu under the ticker ZH. Their stock is up about 10% following big revenue growth in their third quarter. Our biggest losers this morning are led by Arinia Pharmaceuticals. Their stock is down after announcing a $250 million offering last week. Under the ticker AUPH, their stock is currently down 14.5%. They're followed by Recursion Pharmaceuticals under the ticker RXRX. Their stock is down 9% and it looks like it's due to one of their directors disposing of over 19,000 shares. And Serence Incorporated under CRNC, their stock is down 7.5% as they released their latest earnings report this morning. So that is going to be everything for Monday's pre-market morning update, bringing you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. If you made it to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and say good morning in the comments down below. I always love hearing from you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you back here next time.